Hello, and welcome back. We just got the engine block back from the machine shop, and I'm going to get it unloaded from my truck. It's drizzling out here, so I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. Okay, now that the engine is out of the truck and actually under some cover, I'm going to put this on the back of it and get it on the engine stand. I'll just slip this onto the back here. Then we can let it down. And there it is. All right, let's get the plastic off of here. And this doesn't look too bad. I will say that when I went to go pick this up, and one thing you should be aware of too, if you ever have this done, The bolts right here that hold the main caps in, this one was missing. I know when I took it there, it was present. This basically holds the oil pickup tube in the oil pan. There's a little, it looks like this, but it's got a little stud on it. This is what it looks like right here. So this would go right here. So when you take your block to get it machined, make sure you check it before you actually leave. Just to make sure all your fasteners are there that you took with it to the machine shop. So we're going to take a look at what the machine shop did here. The reason I had to go with oversized pistons is because the cylinder walls had some scoring from metal shavings going through this engine. So what they do is they give them one of the new pistons, they measure the diameter of this, and they cut these cylinders out to match the piston. And from what I can tell here, clearances feel pretty good. So the first tool that they would use is a boring machine got a little cutter blade on it and it removes material from inside the cylinder and goes all the way down. The next machine that they would use is a honing machine to get it to the final spec for the size and put this cross hatching in here. This cross hatching is important because what happens is this will actually hold oil and provide lubrication. All these little lines in here. And the reason why you do 500 mile oil changes on a new engine build is when the rings slide past these, it's taking all the roughness off of that cross hatching. And you want to remove that as quickly as possible. That's why you're doing a what's called break in oil change. 
So the next thing I'm going to do here is paint the block. You could just paint it and then just wipe off the surfaces and the cylinders, but I'm going to take it one step further. I actually use tape. This tape here is about, I don't know, eight years old. Kind of hard to deal with because it likes to tear and it doesn't like to come off the roll very well, but we'll see what I can do with it. So I'm going to start on the top and uh, cover up all the internal surfaces of this engine.
So now that I have all the internals covered up, I'm going to try to make this look a little better. I'm going to try to get this to meet the surface in here. So I'm going to be taking a screwdriver, running it across the edge, trying to give it some sort of line using a razor blade and cutting off the excess. So as you can see there, I'm just running my screwdriver up along this edge and it's cutting it pretty good. So I'm going to continue to all the other sides and uh, make it look like this.
now that I have everything taped off for the internals, I'm going to paint the engine. I'm going to turn this fan on next to my garage door to get the fumes out of here, and let's get right into it. So what I'm going to do now, I didn't tape this off perfectly, so there is some paint on a couple of the bare metal surfaces. The way you can get that off is if you take a cloth and some acetone, which I put some acetone in this already, uh, just wipe everything down and that will get that, that paint off. Other thing I'm going to do here is since this was machined and I don't believe that the machine shop washed it, I'm also going to take the cloth and on a new clean surface, I'm going to clean up the cylinders and get out all the dirt. This could make or break an engine. You want a new engine build to be as clean as possible. Thank you for watching this video and supporting this channel. If you enjoy this content, please give me a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave the question down in the comments below. And on the next one, I'll be installing freeze plugs on the engine block, so stay tuned.